Besha Tuesday is back here. The hashtag to use is um, hashtag Besha Tuesday. Tag me up at Richard underscore or Kenya. We're live from our KUTV Kenya studios here and uh, broadcasting to wherever you are. Tell us where you are tuning in from. How's your day going? How's business? And uh, what can we learn from your thoughts and your reactions to the conversations that we've been having? The newspaper review section just uh, concluded a few ago. If you're here for it, you will have to wait for our upload later on YouTube. But Jessica Moso has given us a very detailed perspective on how he is interpreting the developments of the day in Kenya and also in global politics and economics. Right now, we're switching it up to a discussion on uh, science, but also uh, university activity at Kenyatta University to be very specific. The Kenyatta University Physics Club officials are here with me the president and the second year representative. It's uh, a club that is meant to equip physics students with practical knowledge as well as building their interests. They are making bonds, they are holding seminars, they are organizing experiences and awareness in the physics community in uh, Kenyatta University and also encouraging support towards research and also any other topic that is concerning physics. To, with me, I have teachers of physics, uh, or future teachers of physics, and they are also the officials of this Kenyatta University Physics Club. I'm going to allow them to talk about the, their professions before we can get to learn how, as a university student, you can get to join this physics club. But if you're in any other campus, why have such a club? What have they done? What have they achieved that can motivate you to get into such of these some of these activities? Let's start with the president, yeah, um, from up top. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. Um, how are things over at the physics club? As the president, I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself and maybe your mandate at the club. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning to everyone. I'm Awur Okoth, the Kufik president. Uh, in physics club, we are moving on well. I can say that. And uh, even as uh, I talk right now, we have a lot going we are here, but uh, elections are also going on for physics club. And uh, we believe that everything will go on well. In physics club, uh, we have a lot of activities as we are going to realize now. And uh, I know here we are going to learn more about physics. And uh, even if you're not doing, doing physics, just know that you are in the right place. and. Uh, you're going to get interest in it. Right. Yeah. You are the second year representative Mwai. Um, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, uh, just going to allow you to also do the same there. Um, as a second year representative, uh, what do you do at the club and why did you get interested in it in the first place? Okay. Thank you. My name is Mwai Lispa from the School of Education. I take maths and physics. I'm the current second year female representative in the physics club of Kenyatta University. So as a, as a representative, you're supposed to create awareness, ensure that more members join in the Kenyatta University physics club. You're also pass, supposed to pass information as directed by the president. So the reason as to why I joined, at first when I came to Kenyatta University, I was not sure if should I take physics, should I not take physics. So, but uh, I, I, I found a home when I joined physics club. I found the passion to do physics. Yeah, I can say that is the reason as to why I, I, I joined. But how, how, how serious is the, how serious are the club activities? Does it mean when I walk into the physics club, first thing you give me is a very complex formula to to solve, um, are there fun activities? You know, when people hear um, clubs related to very serious uh, courses or STEM courses, to be very specific. If I heard about the Advanced Calculus Club, um, my thought wouldn't be there's fun or there's something uh, that will be um, outside of you know the tough stuff that I'm used to uh, happening over there. Is that the same case with you guys, um, or are there fun activities happening at the Kenyatta University Physics Club? Okay, uh, I can start with you, President. Uh, let me start mm -hmm. by sure. answering that. Thank you for mm -hmm. the question. Mm -hmm. First, let me start by telling you that uh, being a physics club member is not a rocket science. Okay. Because uh, in physics club, we want to make it easy mm -hmm. for students. 
we want to make them feel like physics is just a fun like any other. Mm -hmm. That's why if you get to physics club, we have activities that are relating to special areas of uh, specialization, I mean. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have activities that are just for fun, like we, we organize team building. That is just for fun and uh, also mm -hmm. for... Uh, uh, we just get fun there and bond. Mm -hmm. eh? We just yeah. make some games mm -hmm. and maybe we, we try to make them in line with some... Uh, cheap uh, physics principles. Mm. Like uh, we can go and say we want to do rope skipping. Mm -hmm. It is the oscillations we are counting. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> y the more you go, the number of oscillations, the more uh, you are a winner. So okay. you say you don't uh, say that. Uh, well, we give uh, the competition. Then mm -hmm. you say if you have more oscillations, <laughs> then you are the winner. Right. So we apply the physics pr principle, but in a very funny way. Okay. Again. That's a very interesting yeah. way to look at it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's go and oscillate at yeah. the <laughs> at the arboretum. <laughs> Maybe uh, let's gyrate and, and and let's meet elsewhere and accelerate. Um, is it fun for you uh, as well? <laughs> yeah, it's very much fun. Mm. Uh, when you talk about physics, people might think that we are deriving equations like Albert Einstein. <laughs> no, we do have team building activities. We mm. do rope skipping. We do football. Like uh, we intermingle with members. Mm. Like we get to network. So many, many uh, fun games, mm -hmm. not all about education. Mm -hmm. We say that physics is real, physics is life. Life is not that boring in physics. Ooh, yeah. that's a powerful statement to make there. So what do you guys do at the physics club, apart from the fun? Because that's what I wanted to ensure that I invite people for the fun first, and then we do business later. So what's the business happening at the physics club? Uh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, alongside the fun, which is just part of uh, every a club, mm -hmm. uh, physics club, we are mostly uh, venturing in uh, creating awareness to students so that they we can stimulate their interest mm -hmm. toward the mm -hmm. physics as a subject and also for those who are not doing physics as a, as a subject mm -hmm. but as a hobby. Okay. We also stimulate their interest. So it's, 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 um, it's open to people who are it, not pursuing physics? Yeah, sure, okay. it is open. All right. uh, number two, we also organize seminars mm -hmm. and the aim of the seminars is to now stimulate the interest of those who are doing physics. Maybe I want to specialize in area of electronics. Mm -hmm. Well, I may be wondering why or how is this electronic going to help me mm -hmm. after my uh, graduation? Mm -hmm. How is my environmental physics going to help me? How is my nuclear physics going to help me? So through the seminars that we organize and I have to appreciate Dr. Hashim, Mm -hmm. We work with him closely to ensure that uh, our seminars go on well. I also have to appreciate our patron, Dr. Ambugu, and other staffs that we work with them closely. Mm -hmm. So that is generally what we do. We also organize uh, trips, mm -hmm. well, mostly internal trips, because you realize that physics resources are so many in KU. Mm -hmm. We organize in KU and uh, also plans to organize more outside so that we can uh, also experience the world outside KU. Right. Uh, let me get back to you. Um, you said you're the female representative, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's a male rep representative and a female representative. Mm -hmm. When it comes to STEM-related courses, we've seen disparity in terms of how many ladies and how many gents prefer it um, when they're selecting their courses or even going through with it all the way to um, graduation. So. Um, I'm guessing as a female representative, that's also some of those things that you have to also think about. How do you get more females to be interested in areas of physics, in areas of science, and STEM in general, and of course the physics club here at Kenyatta University. How's that for you? Are there, are there more females? Uh, would you say there are uh, you know, more ladies at the physics club now than it was maybe two years ago when you found it? Or if not, how can, what can we do as a fraternity, Kenyatta University, um, encouraging more ladies to pursue either physics as a course or even just join the physics club and partake in its activities. Okay, uh, uh, two years, um, uh, the, the ladies were not that many, mm. but I can say currently we have many ladies joining the club. Currently we are having elections like today, mm -hmm. so I can see so many female representatives like vying for those positions. I can see secretaries, uh, we can see uh, female representatives. That is why, that was the essence of creating that uh, post for female representative. Mm -hmm. So like if we have female representative from first year to fourth year, that is four females. 
Then we can have some in organizing secretaries, we can have the deputy president as the female. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can say that not many females are, are, are joining physics club, but uh, 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 in the future, mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll have many, many females coming right. to join. Yeah. You spoke of uh, the practicality aspect where you know you get to take trips you do seminars and interact with professionals and uh, we were discussing with you just before uh, coming here on air of the practicum versus uh, practicum and uh, what is it teaching practice uh, maybe how, how different is what are those two things first before I, uh, we get into the practicality of the physics club Okay, so we have teaching practicum for CBC students. Mm -hmm. We have practicum and practice. So practicum is just like you're overshadowing. You're, you're there to see like what usually happens in the field. Mm -hmm. Then on teaching practice, that is where you know yourself, you're on the field. Mm -hmm. you, you now experience it practically. You're not right. just there watching what others are doing. Okay. Yeah, so... That is, that, that those is, are the the, is that the same thing that is happening at the physics lab? Do you get to um, discuss and visit uh, places or sites where you can see this happening on a practical level? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can say we have two trips. We have an internal and external one mm -hmm. that we got to attend. Mm -hmm. We went and visited the solar plant. This is just here around the OML. Mm -hmm. uh, lecture halls. So that was an internal trip. We got to see. We just don't there overshadow. Mm -hmm. We got to see what usually happens. Mm -hmm. We got to know that at least we are heading to renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Because currently we want to uh, come to a state that we are in a sustainable country, sustainable world. So that was the first internal trip we had. The second one we went to see the EVS vehicles mm -hmm. in Karura Forest. Mm -hmm. So that one was an uh, out, outside trip. Mm -hmm. So based on members could see, they could touch. You see, practical, you have to touch something, you just don't see it. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. What are the, as a president, I'm sure you're the one with the um, most information on um, enticing people to join the club. What's the sure. benefit of me um, not just following my, what brought me to university, as most people say it, uh, what will be the enticing point to join um, the KU Physics Club? What are the benefits like? Uh, thank you. So let me start with the point of uh, a teacher, because you know, in Physics Club, we have uh, different schools mm -hmm. together. Let me start with the teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, as a teacher, when you are teaching, you must be passionate about what you are teaching. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, as we've said that in physics club, we stimulate members' interest. And uh, I believe if you compare someone who is in physics club and uh, someone who just came in, did mm. his education and went, the experience of the two will be a bit different. Mm. And uh, you're going to realize that uh, the one who was in physics club actively will be passionate about the subject he is teaching. Mm. So that one can make me tell anyone who wishes to join physics club that this is the best place to be to for become you. outstanding yeah so that yes. you can be a, come an outstanding teacher that is mm -hmm. for teachers right. when i move to other areas like tit and uh, those people who are in uh, bachelor of general science mm -hmm. still physics applies physics applies in these seminars they are really benefiting mm -hmm. because uh, you realize let's say for example if it's someone from the school of medicine the uh, the previous day we had a seminar on gent 4 and gates mm -hmm. which is used for the monte carlo simulation of particles mm -hmm. this is used in medical physics so you realize that uh, maybe you had uh, a small knowledge concerning it but by the time you are getting out of the physics seminar mm -hmm. you are now more knowledgeable and uh, you are uh, confident about what you're going to do right so with this confidence we believe that uh, members who are in physics club are uh, more innovative out there, mm. they, are, they are more creative and they are confident about their, what they are doing. What's the future of the club like now? Um, also considering that the elections are happening today, first, how's that going and uh, what will be the handover process like? Are there mm. members who vote, who is invited to vote, or is it a selection panel? How is it working around uh, that handing over process before we talk of the future? Okay, thank you. Number one, when I start by election, mm. we don't uh, work with panel we allow the members to choose whom they seek and lead them. Mm. And as I talk now, because you are physicists, you are trying to uh, employ technology because mm. we know physics is the building block of the technology and STEM as a whole. Mm -hmm. So right now the voting is ongoing online. Okay. 
it is going online and uh, we have the commissioners in charge of uh, the voting process mm -hmm. as i am here right now mr wilson obiro is in charge my deputy uh, so that everything can move on well okay. so in voting we allow every member to vote right. their uh, favorite leader okay when we go to uh, handing over our handing over process is always smooth because uh, number one our elections are always free and fair mm -hmm. so that makes our handing over very, very smooth, smooth yeah. okay. because uh, you know what one of the things that make uh, handing over to be uh, to have some challenges is the issue of uh, rigging of mm -hmm. the elections right yeah so saying there's no rigging there's no rigging because uh, uh said said every incumbent government ever <laughs> there is no rigging <laughs> but this one can be confirmed by the aspirants uh -huh. i know everyone will have to say that but mm -hmm. uh, this uh, in ours mm -hmm. it can be confirmed by the aspirants so all right sure I'm, I, I bet it's been smooth for a while I, i've not had any um incidences coming out of the physics club of um, you know, of all the clubs, a uh, very serious club that uh, deserves its respect. How long ago did uh, the club begin? Okay, the club started uh, in uh, the academic year 2015-2016. Mm -hmm. So the club has been there for a while. All right. And we have been moving on well. And uh, I can say we've been improving from where it started. Mm -hmm. Because when it started, it had uh, very few members. I can mm -hmm. say less than 20. Mm -hmm. But right now you can see we are hitting to up to 80. Mm -hmm. So meaning we are really moving on very fast. Yeah. And we believe that in the next uh, government, they are going to even do more than what we've done. All right. Yeah. Um, coming back to you now, um, how do you see? I was going to get the outlook of the future from him, but maybe also as someone who's been a member, you said two years now, um, you are a rep for, you know, a female rep for second years. Um, how do you think the future would look like for the physics lab? Or if there are things that you would like to be added onto the activities or implemented later on, how does that look like for you? Um, I see the future v becoming very bright. Mm -hmm. um, more membership will be there. If more females will join. More males will join. Because we need more membership in physics. Mm -hmm. If you are to spread something back in the society, let's say just not in KU, mm -hmm. We need to have more mobilization of members. We have to have representatives in our different communities, like get out there, get and reach many, many people. The next thing is that we shall have partnerships in different schools, not just a school of education and spas. We shall have uh, uh, that partnership with the school of engineering. In school of engineering, we have physics, right? We have medical, uh, those in medical courses, we can have partnership with them. Uh, so in our coming elections, hopefully we'll have the slots for the SPAS representative, engineering representative, and those that will be a strategy to bring more members mm -hmm. to incorporate every discipline in, in our club. Right, that's yeah. actually um, a very good way to reach the, I think, 16 or less. Um, I don't know if that was reduced later on, but there's to be 16 schools at uh, Kenyatta University. So to reach all those schools, it's important that there's a, a representative there. Uh, Bono President, what's the future outlook for you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, I have to say that I'm seeing an innovative club mm -hmm. in the future. I'm seeing a club uh, that you can go out there and even mentor the high school students, not mm -hmm. just uh, the KU students alone, mm -hmm. because uh, physics starts from high school. So I believe that uh, in future, we will be able to reach out to the high school students. We will be able to have more innovative uh, physics students who can uh, come up with a, a research, a project research. In physics, we say that uh, you can't come up with something new right now. Mm -hmm. But at least we can have people who can improve on people's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that is being creative. Right, yes. sharpening other people's work. Because yes. that's, that's what Einstein did. That's what... Isaac Newton did. That's what everyone is doing at the moment. Yeah, sure. uh, there's nothing new uh, under the sun. I'm trying to also get what your uh, favorite things are in physics or in mathematics or in science. Uh, but before we get to that, who are the patrons of the or people who you'd like to say have been supporting um, the Kenyatta University Physics Club so far? Oh, thank you. Number one, I have to thank the physics de department as a whole in the first place because uh, the rapport we have uh, with the physics department makes us moving. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with the chair of the department, Dr. P.K. Kariuki. He has been very supportive to us, advises the club well, and makes us move on well. Mm -hmm. Number two, I have to thank uh, Dr. Nadira Hashim, who is our club advisor. 
he works hand in hand with the club, with the club officials to ensure that everything moves on in the club. Mm. Also, our patron, Dr. Stanley Wambugu, is also very active and supportive, corrects us where we are going wrong, and uh, he ensures that everything is done right because he, he likes right things. Mm -hmm. And I can't forget to thank our former patron, Dr. Kimani. He is still there. Even the fact that he is a former patron, he is still very active with us and uh, supportive. Right. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kimani is the man with interest in space. If I can uh, sure. remember that correct, he did teach me a class on astrophysics, I think, some time back. So that's a, it's a, it's a really good wealth of uh, patrons and uh, advices that you do have there. Yeah. I'll be getting to you to hear what you um, have to say, your favorite area of physics or uh, any fun thing you have to say about physics. Um, anyone that you want to thank for their support at the physics club? Um, yeah, if I was to repeat, I would say the same people that uh, President said, but to add on top, mm -hmm. uh, our alumni, like our president, who was in the last uh, committee, Doctor, uh, he's called Mr. Wanyama. We also have Dr. Lydia Ruse. She was there in our last seminar on Giant 4. We got to see that uh, females are capable. She's a professor. Then we can also be professors in physics. Yeah, I think those are the, I also want to thank the members for being so cooperative. Mm -hmm. Without the members, physics club would not be where it is right now. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite area of physics or uh, a fun area of physics? Uh, as I also think of mine, I think I should, I should have something in the, in the making. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, personally, I, I specialize in electronics. Mm -hmm. That is my area of specialization. And uh, I'm doing it as a fun also because I really uh, enjoy when I do about ga logic gates and uh, whatever, when I do about artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and uh, things related to electronics. Okay. So that is my area of mm -hmm. specialization and I also do it as a fun. Okay. Yeah. Do you have one or do you just love the, you just love the whole science? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I love everything about physics, the practicability, like it's not that just the theory, you get to see, uh, you get to see things, like I remember in our last lesson we were told about muons, they are particles, so uh, sometimes you may wonder what are muons, are they in this uh, world of ours, but it's something you can see, like physics is not about facts alone, that, but they are facts that you can prove, that's what makes it fun for me. All right. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much. And for me, I have uh, a st have statements to read. If it moves, it's biology. If it stinks, it's chemistry. If it doesn't work, it's physics. So think about that. Thank you very much, guys, for making time for us this morning. For those guys who um, have not joined the physics club, um, who are thinking about joining the physics club, people who want to support you, maybe the Kenyatta University fraternity, the lecturers who are watching, the non-teaching staff, the Kenyatta University television station uh, team, you know, um, just as a call to action, I'm going to allow you guys, starting with you, and then we can finish with the president. I think for mostly for you, uh, for, you know, students of Kenyatta University who are of the female gender, and you'd like to invite them more to come through to the Kenyatta University Physics Club, take a chance there and then the president can call out for the rest of them to also um, come through and how they can do that as well. Yeah. Uh, to the female students, I'd like to tell you that uh, we can conquer physics. Physics, it's not that hard. We can do something in physics. You can invent. So many female uh, are out there. They have invented. They have become professors. They are doctors right now. You may not have passion in physics, but being in physics club makes it all. I, joining first year in Kenyatta University, I never had that passion. But after interacting with many people, I, I, I saw that, uh, yeah, I think physics is my right path. Mm. So as female students, just come and see the magic that is in physics club. Join the club, let us join hands and conquer physics, yeah. Great. Uh, thank you. Uh, number one, I would like to first clarify the types of membership that we have in physics club. First, we have uh, uh, student membership. This is uh, the students that are doing physics and uh, those that only have interest in physics but are not doing physics. You are all welcome. Uh, we also have uh, alumni, our Kufik alumni are also part of us. Then we have the honorary membership. 
This consists of the staff and uh, our lecturers. They are all welcome. To join the club, you can uh, reach out to us. Maybe you can reach out to our treasurer, though he is outgoing. But uh, for now, you can still reach to him. Uh, we also have the handles. You can reach, at, uh, reach us on F Facebook, uh, Kenyatta University Physics Club. On Twitter, Kenyatta University Physics Club. You can just uh, send us a message there that you want to join us. We'll uh, reply to you and uh, you will be part of us. Physics is interesting, as I said uh, in the beginning. It is not rocket science. So when you come, it is more fun and facts. Thank you. Right. But rocket science is physics. <laughs> rocket science is physics. But when I say physics is not rocket science, yeah. here I'm using it uh, to mean that it is not that difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. it is not unless you're literally studying rocket science. <laughs> yes, unless you're studying rocket science alone. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for coming through. That is uh, Moi Lispa, who is a second year female representative at the Kenyatta University Physics Club, and Award Okoth, president KU Physics Club. Outgoing, right? Yeah, outgoing president. Yeah, I'm going to talk to I will have to give out the seat. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We'd be happy to meet with the next set of representatives. Please do send them our way uh, so that we know if they are planning to do something new and, you know, useful for their community in Kenya University. Sure. Finally, guys, I have a thing that I want us to close with. Uh, <clears throat> why, did the, why did the biologists break up with the physicists? <laughs> Anything? Okay. <laughs> uh, let me give my view. You know, <laughs> there are all sciences, eh? yeah. and you know there are all sciences. Yeah. But now, we have uh, some things that uh, we don't agree. I can mm. say we don't agree. However much you're old <laughs> in physics, like in physics, we argue that uh, even yeah. your body parts are made up of uh, uh, particles, very okay. tiny particles that are being moved by force. Okay. Eh? All right. But they, they they only believe on those other particles. I'm not a biologist, yes, but uh, I believe we 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 are. Uh, Ma much to towards the force, eh? yeah. Unlike them, eh? okay. So there are some things that we tend not to agree. Okay. This makes us not to, not, not to, to be together. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> in real sense, we didn't break. That's why mm. we have a relationship between biology and physics. So oh, there are okay. things we share. It is just that disparities are so many mm -hmm. than the similarities. All right. Yeah. Good perspective. Um, You've answered a very good question. Uh, a very, a very, uh, you've given a good, very good answer on why uh, physicists and biologists uh, do not disagree. Now my question is, <clears throat> why did the physicist break up with the biologist? <laughs> what do you think happened? Okay. <laughs> it's a pun. It's supposed to end with a statement, just one statement. Anya, no. Uh, one, I, I personally <laughs> I answered by saying uh -huh. they didn't they didn't break because I'm giving my reason okay. to why. Sure. Th that is my perspective. That's my opinion. Okay. But uh, that's my answer that they didn't break. There is still some similarities. True. Yeah, that's What's your answer? answer? What's your answer? I think physicists cannot cannot become biologists. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there are just oh. some differences in their fields. Okay. Yeah. Why did the biologist break up with the physicist? Because they had no chemistry. I'll be taking a short break here on Biashara Tuesday. Don't go too far.